Welcome back to Star Fox Adventures. Let's get out of the Force Point Temple now. What do you say? Sounds good. Where are we heading next? Well, uh, we'll know once we head towards some, towards Moon Mountain Pass, because there's still stuff we have to do there, too. Okay, okay. Right now, getting out of here is the number one priority. It's another case of backtracking. Remember how I said uh, a couple episodes ago where you do a bunch of roundabout points where you go one way around another to bypass the loading screens? Oh, no. So now we gotta do that again. Awesome. We head down this fire pit. The gates change. Now run over here. We can actually open one of the things we have here. Really? Yep. Because of the ice? Because of the ice, we can now put out this fire. Oh, okay. <laughs> you well, still run into. <laughs> but we can't put out ourselves. Unfortunately. That's two more fuel cells that'll help later. Still can't do anything with that. And I think it'll be a while before we can actually do anything with that. So. Can't really go this way, I don't think. Oh, the best place to go is just up the barrels again. Adventure! <laughs> epic! <laughs> and that brings us back uh, to Moon Mountain Pass. That is the most epic game of Donkey Kong I have ever heard. I love it if it was like that. Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Oh, yeah. Good job! Swell. Keep up the good work! Is that Peppy just chiming in? He's like, it's about time you didn't get burned! That was a Star Fox 64 quote. Oh. Try a U-turn! Alright, so next... Uh-oh. You know, you I knew we were forgetting something. Is that the moon? <gasps> no. Do you wish to accept our <gasps> test? Oh dear. Uh, it no, I'm kind of busy here. Test? Are we in Silent Hill, Fox? I'm tripping out, man. But she is now in <laughs> Zoinks, danger. Fox! What's going on? <laughs> I don't know, Ricky! <laughs> Maybe I should have swapped those and it would have been a bit funnier. Nah, nah, nah. Let's, let's, keep, uh, <laughs> let's keep tricky as Shaggy. Fox is the dog, after all. <laughs> right, right, right. I'm kind of getting off to this. Like she's in big trouble, Fox. <laughs> the remaining five Krizoa shrines. Complete the so yeah, I knew we were forgetting crystal. And bring the spirits you know, the crystal was stuck in a crystal. Palace. That's funny. The warp stone can get you there. When all spirits are returned, it took us what? Twelve episodes for us to get back she to her. Is depending on you. Did they just pull life. a Metal Gear Solid two on us? No. That would be if we were playing as Fox for half the game, and then, all of a sudden, we get to play as Crystal. Well, then it's a reverse Metal Gear Solid 2, then. You start out playing as Raiden. Yeah. So, now we have to go find Krizoa Spirits. As if there isn't one more thing to add on to our laundry list of things we gotta do here. But luckily... It's all part of the adventure! Look at this! Uh, uh, power up! Power up another time! Pow another power up. What could it be now? <gasps> you and get the firefly. power of... Uh, you get to transform into a wolf! Whoa. That's Twilight That'd Princess. But I like, I like where your mind's at, though. Okay, okay. Nope, this is another new power. And I hate this power. Now do you get electricity? I hate this power! I hate this power so much! Lord Raiden! This is the ground quake! Oh, wow. There's nothing wrong with the ground quake. Nothing wrong with the ground quake. In fact, the ground quake is actually kind of a good uh, move to have later on. But right now, right here, right now, I fucking hate this part of the game. Let me show it real quick. Up, and then boom. Like, like that. <laughs> tink, tink. Pretty good range. Oh. It's enough to make uh, plants fall in fear. So that's Let good, me ask you this about Ground Quake. 
do enemies with shields get hit by it? You'll see. <laughs> this isn't the best power up. All right. It's fine later, but right now. All right. It involves these. The hell is that? It's a thing that uh, we can only hit with ground quake, and then we have to hit that thing, and then we got to do that twice, twice, twice. Oh man! And what do we get for that bullshit? A buffoon dad. Oh, we get a moon seed. Okay, it makes sense. A moon seed, a moon mountain pass. Okay, sure. And this goes over here to where. Yeah, now it's selectable. So, go over here. I mean, go over here. Right there. And now we got a moon seed. And what do we do with it? Well, we need something hot to make it grow. That's right, it needs heat to grow. So, Tricky, set that shit on fire. Don't ever set seeds on fire, it's very dangerous. Oh, cool. So, there's a new portal, but if you look that guy behind us respond. That's the only way to get moon seeds. <laughs> yes. How many do I you I hate need? this part. Oh, I get, I get a few, but uh, I don't bother with a lot of these because they don't matter. Because there's just so many here and they want me to get like five of them. And I'm like, no fucking way am I doing that. Yeah, yeah there's... They're shielded, they fire shit at you. That's the only way to really damage them. Oh. And you have to make sure you hit it correctly, too! And again, I don't have a whole lot of magic to keep doing this. I just have to be patient, but I don't have a lot of patience right now. There's gotta be another way. Nope. I exploded a bomb spore when I did that, too. Oops. I'll just go up uh, now. Nah, let's uh, see if we can grind up a few moon seeds first. But I think we should look around here first. It's worth mentioning that ground quake will always work, no matter how much magic you have. Oh, really? They're not stingy on that, so that's good. Another yeah, piece of pen. Yeah, that's, I was about that's to say, four places to have a moon seed. Jesus Christ! They, that takes a lot of magic to do the ground quake. I noticed. Yeah. Luckily, this is like probably one of the only places where it is like a necessity. Because after this, it's really just a, a good play, a good tactic to use to fell larger enemies that have shields, so you can score a few hits on them. But again, it still takes a lot of magic. So I don't recommend using it until you get your magic meter up higher, which will get higher, of course. Oh, good. So we got three moon seeds. Let's see if we can get, a, get to work on some of these. Start with this one. Tricky, do your shit. Flame. <laughs> so what did you teach your dog for the contest? Oh, how to breathe fire. God <laughs> Lucky me that this is actually exactly where we need to go. I'm good. Like, exactly the right one. I just I just guessed a random one. It's like, well, I'll be here for an hour. I guess I better start. It just was one, but luckily we go exactly where we need to go, so we're not going to be lost too much. Don't fall. I'll try not to. Caught another one. And that hurt me. <laughs> because of the bomb. Oh, look, there's a... There's a buffoon dad. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> That's terrible. All for a buffoon dad I don't need. Yes. Well, that was all for not. How can... How many can you carry? Just one? Just one, unless we get a holder, which well, I think I should invest in now if I'm fighting so many of them. And what do they do again? Revive you. Oh. 
Well, that's handy. A little. I'm gonna ignore this guy because I don't really want to deal with them. And just have just have the bomb spore. And the bomb spore is, of course, too far away for him to be hurt by it. Oh, of course. Of course. Dude, you're dying. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Oh my god, another one! Get away from me. Not deal with you fuckers. Now I see what you mean. They're everywhere. Oh! Oh! Okay! By the way, Meteor, I thought you should know. <laughs> see, that was the face that where Fox just realizes he's getting too old for this shit. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> I would have thought... loved that! I thought these guys were friendly, but they're not. You can tell they're bad because music plays when you're near them. Dun dun! They're bad! <laughs> I don't think you can kill them. At least not right now. They're still bad. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> they're so bad! Now you just got bad. killed by a Dodongo. Alright, so. Not deal with those, leave now away from them, yes. So what do we do they here? Well, there's a flaming piece of rock there. Let's cool that down Ooh. until we can touch it. And we'll just pick that up. And, well, I guess we can just put that down right there. What? All right, I get it. We put down rocks on these little geysers, and that pushes oh. the rock up so we can pass. Okay. I get it now. You don't see too many challenges like this. Actually, you do all the time. Oh, well, never mind then. Just, just not in older games like this. Alright, there's gotta be some rocks around here somewhere. God damn. Urgh. Can I work here? These have to be some of the most annoying enemies in a game. I'm not having fun here. <laughs> Alright, Tricky, uh... Let's, uh, it's dig like, here. It's, it's just like the type of enemies that they made. Not yeah. really intuitive. Yeah. You're not very accurate in your staff swing either, so... Alright, so... No, Fox! Oh, I didn't no! And it ah! blows up! <laughs> but it responds. Oh, good. I was about to say, you just screwed yourself. No screwing myself here. Alright. It's looking good. Man, where am I going to find four more of those? Because you think I have to put one on all of them in order to get the boulder up enough, right? But wait! We'll see. Alright, well. A few more places I can look here. Anything up here? A yeah, fuel cell. We will need 15 fuel cells to get somewhere at one point, so this is helping greatly. The more fuel cells we find, the less we'll have to... Another fucking Bafom dad, are you kidding me? But yeah, the more fuel cells we find, the less we'll have to hunt them, hunt for them later, because that's not fun. I wonder, if ground quake, I wonder if ground quake works. No. No, it does not. Mm. All right. Let's try that again. Maybe I can cool it down with ice or... Nah, fuck it. If I have to, if I have to do ground pound, it's already not worth it. That, and I automatically lock on every time one of those things shows up. I love how they just hold up their arms going, uh, you, you want to come over here? What you want to do, huh? You want to get over here? You want to have some? And I also love how you hit them with ground quake. They go, woo 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 Good job, Tricky. You're actually, you're actually more helpful than I thought you would initially be. Excellent. All right. There's our third rock here. I'm going to put that down somewhere. Hmm. That didn't do anything like the others did. Maybe I have to... Oh, there we go. Oh, you gotta put it in the right one. I don't know what the right one was. That was just dumb luck, but hey, I'll take it. 
Yeah, sure, sure. Now look, right, another, one. another one. Of, another one of those guys. Is there anything over here? What's that? Oh, there's a moon seed place. Bad tricky. That's your fault. I'm gonna kill this guy so I can get some fucking room to work with. Because he's gonna keep harassing me otherwise. God damn it. I hate that Groundquake can't take out that guy, too. That is a very annoying enemy. And of course, they just put a whole bunch of them here just because they dislike me right now. They want to make this the most annoying part of the game. It's not because I have to deal with these motherfuckers that come out of the ground and those motherfuckers in the air, too. So it's just nothing works out for me here. All right. Oh, here comes Up another the, one. Oh, this way. I think they're constantly always respawning, too, because this... They are. I, always. I can just tell. Yep. Yeah. I just gotta get it at the right height and at the right distance, at the right spot, at the right moment in order for me to hit him. And I'm glad this is the right way to go. <laughs> or else. Oh good. There's way, too, go. there's way too many twisting paths here. Way too many uh, places I can put moon seeds. I'm glad I got a whole bunch of them now so I can just plant them and go. Flame. The grind helps. I just gotta say, this is soul draining. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> just, 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 watch, just watching you have to go through this and it's just like, God, this looks not fun. Well, there is one good thing though. We made it. Oh. Yes! We made it. There's the Kuzroa spirit place test thing right there. So let's uh, do some exploring of the of uh, this one other place here. Okay. Ah, uh, fucking... Flame. Tricky, flame! <laughs> you wake up in a cold sweat every night. It's like, oh, tricky, flame! <laughs> Tricky, get the fuck over here. Do your flame. Where are you? Tricky. Where the fuck? What he am I looking? Be stuck in he better not be stuck get in a corner. Get over here. There you are. <laughs> Swear to God, you shape out. You shape in and out. You just drift in and out of time and space. Well, what's up here? Is it worth I'm sure it? It's, I'm sure it's something very, Before very worthwhile. Calling it now. Before I'm dead. Nope. Actually. Power up? Me 20 scarabs and I'll give oh. you a cheat token. The last time we saw a cheat well, we didn't have enough uh, scarabs to get one. Now we do. So he eats the scarabs and works out a cheat token. I don't know what these do. I've never done the maze. We're probably going to do this way, 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 way later towards the end of the goddamn game. Fuel cell. Buffalo dad. God damn it. Another one? Called it. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a, a Buffalo dad holder next time we go to Thorntail Hollow. That's for okay. sure. But uh, the Grizoa test is right up on this hill. It will be taking care of that and Krizoa Palace next time on Let's Play Star Fox Adventures. Time to move forward. Finally, I know, right? in this game is terrible.